Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the molecular modeling and docking studies. Initially, moving to the molecular modeling. Molecular modeling is a valuable and essential tool to the medicinal chemist in designing the drugs. So, molecular modeling is the valuable and essential tool to medicinal chemist in the designing of drugs. Especially with the help of molecular modeling, it is possible to study the structure of molecules. Especially, it is possible to study the three-dimensional structure of the drugs along with physical and chemical properties. So, Molecular modeling is the valuable and essential tool for the chemist to study the three-dimensional structure and physical and chemical properties of the drugs. So, coming to the important applications of molecular modeling. One of the most important application is it is possible to know the structure of biological, inorganic, molecules and polymers. And it is also possible to study the reactivity of biological, inorganic and polymers. So, it is possible to study the reactivity of biological, inorganic and polymeric molecules. Docking studies is one of the most important molecular modeling technique. So, coming to the docking studies, it is the most important molecular modeling technique. And coming to the importance of docking studies, it is possible to predict how a protein or enzyme interacts with ligands. So, what is the importance of docking studies? It is possible to predict how a protein or enzyme interacts with a ligand. Ligand means small molecules. So, what is the importance of docking studies? It is highly useful to predict how a protein or enzyme interacts with the ligands. So, these docking studies can be classified into three important categories depending upon the protein interactions with the ligand. So, coming to the classification of docking studies docking studies can be classified into three important categories depending upon the nature of the ligand so they can be simply classified into three categories 
one is protein protein docking second one is protein nucleic acid docking and protein ligand docking so depending upon the nature of the ligand docking studies can be classified into three categories initially protein protein docking protein nucleic acid docking and protein ligand docking so coming to the docking process docking process involves two steps so two steps are involved in docking studies the first step is to predict the structure of ligand at the same time it is also possible to predict the position and orientation of ligand within the site so docking process involves two steps in the first step it predicts the structure of the ligand along with its position and orientation within the site coming to the second step especially it is highly useful to know the binding affinity so second step is highly useful to know the binding ability of the ligand with the target here target means in the biological system protein can be called as the target so docking process involves two steps in the first step it is possible to know the structure of the ligand along with its position and orientation within the given site and coming to the second step it is possible to know the binding ability of the ligand with the target coming to the important applications of the docking studies docking studies is highly useful to know the binding ability between the ligand and the target so let us see the ability of the ligand and the target let us suppose it is the target molecule and here also the ligand is available so if we carefully observe the target and ligand molecules from their structures we can predict that there will be strong interaction between the target and ligand which results in the formation of a complex so in this way docking studies is highly useful to know the binding ability between the ligand and target at the same time this docking studies will provide database of a drug 
under the investigation so docking studies is highly useful to provide the database of the drugs under investigation and also it is possible to design more potential drugs since along with the structure it is possible to study the reactivity and energy flow of the ligands so finally because of the target ligand interactions it is also possible to predict the pollutants which can degrade by enzymes so coming to the important applications of the docking studies it is possible to predict both the strength and signal produced during target and ligand interactions it is also possible to know the database of the drugs under investigation it is possible to design more potential drugs and finally it is possible whenever the drug interacts with the protein what are the pollutants will be formed and how they undergoes degradation by the enzymes this is all about the molecular modeling and docking studies if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day